Hello guys, welcome back into another week here on the Banjo Addict. I greatly appreciate you stopping by. I greatly appreciate everybody who's subscribed, who's watched my channel, who's supported. Thank you all so much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, this week, what I want to talk about, guys, is a question that I've been asked quite a bit and I know floats around on the internet. And I had these questions when I started out and I don't think I've done a video on it that goes in depth on it. So uh, this week, I want to go over if you're a beginner and you're trying to figure out what banjo you want to buy, what style do you want, what banjo do you want, um, I'm going to try to best, the best of my ability, to answer those questions this week, guys. So thank you for watching. Let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about, guys, is the styles of banjos, because there's a plethora of styles. I mean, just as many styles as you want to. It's almost an open book on what you want to do on the banjo. Uh, so when you're starting out, it's very very overwhelming, I guess you could say, unless you just know, like you come from a family that has played instruments or, you know, uh, you've studied into it and you know this is the style of banjo I want to play. It's very overwhelming to figure out, well, I like the banjo, but what do I want to play? Um, well, the first thing let's do, let's go, let's go over the styles. There's the Clawhammer style banjo, which is a frailing, old-timey banjo, depending on how you look at it, uh, what people call it is uh, the Clawhammer style. It's an open back banjo, which means there's not a resonator on the back of the banjo, uh, the the bowl on the back of the banjo. It's just open in the back, uh, and that's the strum. And that's the one I'm working on teaching myself right now on the other videos. Um, and it's a strum and pluck the string. Now, what's crazy about it, even with the Clawhammer style banjo, there's so many different styles of playing the Clawhammer style banjo or the old timey banjo. Depending on what part of the country you're what in. What I'm going to focus on mainly is the claw hammer. Just the bum diddy doom tick a doom tick a doom tick a doom. Um, because once you figure that out, you're, you'll be a lot better off. And we'll go over we'll go over some other things about the claw hammer here in just a minute. Uh, the other style of banjo is, of course, the um, open. I mean, the resonator banjo, which is a three finger style banjo, which is the one uh, Earl Scruggs. Um, is the father of where you where you three finger style dooga 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 do. It's a five string banjo, claw hammer style. Generally is a uh, twenty two fret five string banjo. This style, the uh, resonator bluegrass three finger style, whatever you want to call it, is the uh, twenty two fret five string banjo. Uh, both of them are the same. The main difference is just one of them has one of them has. Uh, a resonator on the back or the bowl on the back and the other one don't and it's how you strum it. Same thing with the uh, other style with the uh, with the three finger style banjo the bluegrass style banjo you have the scrug style which is the three finger style um, and then they also have some people call it the Keith style or the melodic style uh, it's a it's a series of uh, playing um, runs on the banjo uh, to where you could play I don't want to get real in depth with it, but more or less, it was a, a melodic style of playing the banjo where you could play fiddle tunes. Uh, you could play with fiddle tunes where with the three finger style, you really can't play the fiddle tunes uh, with it. Anyways, uh, they call it the Bill Keith style. It's a mel melodic style of playing the three finger style banjo. Uh, and Bill Keith is, is, is the father of it. They call Bill Keith the father uh, of bluegrass banjo. Uh, and he's definitely the master of that style. He's the one that invented it. But um, anyways, we'll get all into that again, into some of that stuff again here in a minute. They also have a tenor style banjo, which is a, um, you play Irish folk music on, uh, other things. The tenor style banjo, I'm gonna, they have them in all different styles, but generally it's a four string banjo um, and you play it with a flat pick. Then there's a Dixieland jazz style, and the best way I can explain the Dixieland jazz, jazz style, if you'll look up uh, uh, Notre Dame song on banjo or the Notre Dame fight song on banjo or something like that, they have this fantastic video of this group playing, um, playing that style of banjo, a group of men sitting around playing, or I think they're on stage maybe, it's been a while since I've watched it, but on stage maybe and they play it uh, dun, 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 on the banjos. But that's the, that's the Dixieland jazz style banjo. 
Now, those are the four styles I'm gonna start with because uh, that's what most people know, that's what most people wanna play. The next thing is, now that you know the different styles of banjos, and there's so many different variants of those style of banjos, but we're gonna kinda stick to claw hammer, bluegrass style uh, today. Uh, because that's what most people wanna know about. Uh, the tenor style banjos, uh, if you want to look up um, uh, the tenor style, uh, a good artist to look up is uh, uh, Jerry O'Connor, and that's Jerry with a G, G-E-R-R-Y, uh, or Gary. I've always said Jerry. It might be Gary, now that I'm thinking about it. Gary O'Connor. Anyways, G-E-R-R-Y O'Connor. If you'll look him up, he's an excellent, excellent tenor. Um, Irish folk style banjo player. If, if you're interested in that style, look him up, uh, and then everything else I'll say in the video will kind of go along with that. So, okay, so now we know the different styles of banjos. Um, and now you um, want to figure out what you want to play. My recommendation to do this is to look up artists that play these styles of banjos. Now that you know the different styles and kind of know a little bit of what you're looking for, you can kind of break it down into categories. So like uh, on the claw hammer style banjo, which there is a a plethora of, of artists out there. Uh, I'll give you a couple of my favorite artists that I like listening to. One of them being Grandpa Jones uh, plays um, the uh, Frailing or Clawhammer style banjo. Uh, look up him playing um, uh, Mountain Dew, I'm My Own Grandpa. Uh, there's other songs in there too, but uh, it, That'll give you an idea of the, the claw hammer style, or um, and a different style that uh, a person that plays the claw hammer in a different style, uh, which is really neat too. If you if you really watch some of her videos uh, on how she plays um, banjo, is Abigail Washburn. She is the wife of Bella Fleck. Um, we'll get into that in a minute, but anyways, Abigail Washburn is the wife of Bella Fleck. Um, so. The best thing you can do is go look up the different styles of claw hammer style banjo. If that's what, if you enjoy that style of banjo, then you're going to go with a claw hammer style open back banjo. Uh, now the three finger style, the scrug style, I'm going to say, um, if you're looking for that style, several different ways you can go about it. Okay, you can go the traditional way, like looking up Earl Scruggs. You can also look up Bill Monroe, uh, Ralph Stanley, Roy Clark. There's a plethora of people that play that style that is just a standard O driven scrug style, three finger banjo, uh, that'll give you an idea if that's what you want to play. If you want to get more into the melodic style of play uh, on the three finger style banjo, uh, the first person I recommend looking up and watching this guy because he is absolutely freaking amazing is Bella Fleck. Uh, look up Bella Fleck and look at some of his concerts and watch this guy play the three finger style banjo, he plays a melodic style. He also plays the other style as well, uh, but he has taken it to, um, he has taken it to a whole different level. I watch Bella Fleck and want to quit life <laughs> because he is so good. Uh, Tony Trishka, uh, he does both styles, uh, the uh, Scrug style and the melodic style. Tony Trishka is good to look up. Um, of course, Bill Monroe, the, or not Bill Monroe, Bill Keith, or the Keith style. Uh, the father of that style of uh, banjo, if you can watch him. And that'll kind of give you an idea if that's the style you want to go with. All right, guys, now we know we know uh, what the styles of banjos are. We know the artists uh, that play those styles of banjo. So we're, we've looked it up and we figured out that we want to play this certain style of banjo. Okay, now what kind of banjo do I get? Where do I go to get my banjo at? How much should I spend? All great questions, um, and I've been asked a million times so now what I recommend you do uh, is you look up the uh, look up the major artist uh, let's say I'm at major artist the major manufacturers of um, banjos we'll go uh, recording king um, Deering banjo of course I am very very um, I don't know what the word I'm trying to use I lean towards Deering myself I love Deering banjos I got a Sierra myself uh, hopefully one of these days I'm gonna get a good time banjo to do my that's what when I get good enough at it That's what I'm gonna get to do claw hammer on um, I'm very very I love Deering love Deering banjos um, Those are a good banjo to go 
to start with. They, uh, they're in the range of about $500. You can get a good, good time banjo. Uh, they have good sound. They, they tune up well. That'll last you for years. I mean, if you, I'm, if you buy a good time banjo for $500, you'll probably, I mean, could have it the rest of your life if you wanted it, to be honest with you. Uh, very well made banjos, but you can also get into, uh, uh other banjo companies. And the main thing I'll say when I say, when you're looking for a banjo and you want to buy a good banjo, you need to go look at the major companies. Uh, Gibson has uh, Ep Epiphone, I think, uh, banjos. So if you find an Epiphone banjo, uh, Ibanez, Morgan Monroe, uh, I think Fender has some banjos, but the companies that you know the names of, if that makes sense, uh, if they make a lower end banjo, usually that banjo is gonna be of good quality because it's their company and they're gonna make a quality banjo uh, at that price. Um, but um, the Recording King makes good banjos. Now, I'm not real big on imports from across seas on banjos. Recording King is. They come, I think it's from China, but I'm not 100% on that. Uh, but I know the Recording King is a good banjo. Uh, I've had several of them and uh, played several of them, and they're really good banjos. So that would be probably the only import, and that's something I would, I would, I would highly... Uh, advise you on is not to get one of the imports that try to um, that try to emulate the high-end banjos that are made out there uh, because they make them cheap and what happens is the neck on the banjo starts getting a bow in it when you get a real cheap banjo that's made from a company that's not reputable uh, so when you start tuning it and stuff the banjo the neck will start warping and you'll get a you'll get a bow or you'll get a bow the other way they'll bow one of two ways if it bows the other way it's really bad because you you can't play it then you can't you can't move the strings around enough to, anyways that's what happens when you get a cheap banjo so if you stick with the brand names okay uh and and you can get into um get into the range of where you want to be at like i know right now you can get on the guitar center website uh i think there's a dirty 30s uh recording king banjo like a claw hammer style banjo for like 279 dollars at the guitar center uh, you can go on to uh, like banjo.com. Uh, they have they have uh, banjos on there. But I highly recommend starting at something at a lower price point on your banjo when you get it, um, because you may think you like a style of banjo, but once you start practicing and playing it, you may hate it because of just the way it is. Uh, so if you get a lower end banjo, and say you get a lower end resonator banjo and you want to learn claw hammer style, like you start out three finger and you're like, I don't like that. And then you start doing claw hammer and you're like, hey, I could do that. Well, on a lower end banjo, you don't have to buy another banjo. You just practice claw hammer on that one until you get to where you like it. And then you can go spend money on a higher end banjo, uh, in my opinion. But that's my recommendations on what you do if you're looking for a banjo, if you're a brand new beginner uh, and you want to looking for a banjo, uh, I didn't go real in depth with everything, but I hope I covered enough today to answer any questions of people, you know, what they had uh, on the banjo. And bullet points again, uh, the first thing you gotta do is understand the different styles of banjo. And just know that even if in, in between each style of banjo, there's a whole world of stuff you can learn. But if you, if you narrow it down to claw hammer, three finger style, tenor, um, uh, what was it, Dixieland Jazz, you know, if you, if you narrow it down to what style you like, and then you can get in that style and claw hammer, and then you can look up artist and figure out which, what you like that sound, and then you can kind of pinpoint what banjo they have, what, what things they're doing uh, to do it that way. And then, like I said, hop on Guitar Center. Uh, you can order it online, order you a banjo. You could have it here in a week or so. Uh, Banjo.com, that's where I got my Searing, uh, Deering Sierra from. Highly recommend them. They're a very good reputable company. Um, I think Banjo Teacher, BanjoTeacher.com is good. Um, so there's a lot of good places to, in order to buy your banjo uh, that you can get on the internet and you can order it and have it in. Or if you have a local shop, you can go in there and actually pick the banjo up and fiddle around with it. Feel like a rock star. Play Stairway to Heaven on the banjo. <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll see you next week. I'm going to put out another video next week on my progression on the three finger style banjo. That's what I'm actually getting ready to do when I get done with this video is I've got a two hour practice session with the old claw hammer. 
back here. Uh, see if I can uh, see if I can work on that drop thumb. Hi right, guys, we'll see you next week. Keep on the pick. <laughs>